Hi, hello. This is Anup here. In this video, what we are going to see is how to hide BitLocker recovery keys from end users. I have posted a blog about this and uh, feel free to read it. I will link that to the description of the video. Okay, but um, I'm going to share that post over here as well, right? And we, we, we are going to go through it over here. So there are some security, security risks associated with this and uh, you would be able to see details over here. Our, uh, Microsoft introduced a new feature in Azure AD preview okay, to hide or block users from viewing their BitLocker recovery keys from their own devices, right? So normally what users can do is users can log into myapps.microsoft.com portal and go to devices, okay, over here, devices, and they would be able to see, if, you, if they go to devices, they would be able to see uh, the BitLocker keys, okay? And if you want to hide this, or if you want to block this permission from end users, at the moment, what you need to do is, there's only one way while recording this video, probably in future, they will integrate this method to Azure portal or something else, right? But at the moment, it is the only way is to use Graph API to configure these permissions. Let's see how that works. Okay. So I have mentioned that Microsoft PM uh, shared this in LinkedIn and there's a forum thread which is asking for this particular permission and that talks about a lot of security issues with this, okay? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And now let's check the permissions. In the permissions, you can see which is the value that we need to change. So that is allowed to read BitLocker keys for on devices or device. Okay, that is the that is the key which we want to change. And if it is true, that means user is having access okay user will be able to see their bit locker keys okay if it is true okay and if it is false if that value value of this property is false okay then the user won't be able to access this information okay from their normal user permissions. How to achieve that? How to change this value? Or at least first, how to check the value? What does it set? So for that, you need to go to Graph Explorer. You need to log into Graph Explorer uh, with um, appropriate permissions and then run this particular query. Check the status from here. What is the status, whether it is true or not? If it is true, as you know now, the users will have access or user will have access to view the BitLocker recovery keys. Okay, now how to change it, right? So same, same process, log into Graph Explorer and then use the patch method okay patch method over here we used a get method to get the information okay i on this part to edit some values change the values we need to use patch method in graph explorer so that is what shown over here and this is the query which we need to use okay and over here what we are doing is we are just changing the value to false from true okay over here it was true 
we are changing it to false so that the bit locker recovery key is hidden from the end user okay so let's let's see how this goes in terms of the live demo okay <laughs> and this is the verification method how to verify it and uh, this is the same method as the first one uh, using the get method get query we can query this particular url or uri and check whether it is false or not if it is false yes we are fine we uh, the users won't be able to use it and there's other powershell script powershell script also given by microsoft you can use this powershell script to do the same things in a automatic way okay so this is this powershell script is again using graph explorer or graph api to perform actions okay this is the get query and i'm going to query it and you would be able to see it see the value is true at the moment okay the value is true and that means true means users this is the default value and users will be able to view their bit locker keys and if i go to another tab and i have pasted this this one okay and i want to change it to false for example okay let's change it to false so that users will be restricted or the bit locker key information uh, will be hidden or blocked from users end users basically so i'm going to run this i'm using the same uri or url on the request body i'm putting this one i have already shared this in the blog so you can copy it from there and just change it to patch okay earlier we used to get over here in the another tab to get the information current information and now we are using patch and let's run this so it says 204 means it is it worked the change is worked okay and you would be able to see the results over here so if you run it again now remember this is true now allowed to read bit locker keys for owned device value is true at the moment we changed it to false over here now let's verify whether that change got applied or not okay so click on run and you can see it has changed to false now now this means users are not allowed to view their a bit locker recovery key okay so hopefully this was helpful thank you all for watching see you next time bye bye